Okay, Barron's has picked up on this. Barron's is legacy media. Okay, why another smaller crypto is partly to blame for Bitcoin prices. So this may be adding to the fire, but it's in Barron's. All right, but as is the case with 2008, okay, if you look at total value locked in Luna, okay, basically everybody is pulling their money out, which is the same thing as a run on the banks. Okay, this is like what happened in 2008. Everyone started pulling their money out. Everyone started pulling their money out of other banks and even the banks that were good. So there is a possibility of a chain reaction, and this is going to be the litmus test of the DeFi world, right? The DeFi financial system is, I don't know, it's just a reinvention of the legacy financial system, except there's no Fed to stabilize it if people lose their minds. That's why I'm saying we're either going to have a small crash, small crash, or there's going to be a, a hope rally, and then that's the end. Part of what could create the end is the, the collateral, Bitcoin, disappears as people are trying to pull their money out. Okay? So, you know, they're struggling to maintain the peg. And somewhere in here, I saw that they were moving, all right? <clears throat> On Monday, LFG, that's the Luna Fund, announced it would be loaning $750 million worth of Bitcoin, right, to UST, to trading firms in order to help protect the peg. Do Kwan, the founder of TFL, said the move was aimed at increasing liquidity around the peg. So that means he is depending on the value of Bitcoin, to save the stable coin market. Okay. Think about that. Just let that sell in, right? I just got done showing you what our quant department is talking about in Bitcoin. And these guys are betting that Bitcoin will stabilize their financial system that they've built. Just like, you know, MicroStrategy is betting that their Bitcoin will hold in value. And that their firm or their customers or the people who have lent them money or their bondholders won't lose their minds. Okay. So if you're like, I don't understand why UST is wrecking the market. I don't know if it's UST or the fact that all these guys who have got Bitcoin and pe people are starting to question Bitcoin as collateral. A house is collateral. But even in 2008, people were like, oh my God, I can't sell my house. So is it collateral? So it's not personal against Bitcoin. It's just that when people get really upset and you have a crash, everybody's assumptions about the world, they go away. That's why they feed the bear. They turn their back on the bear. They have, we're all going to make it. Right? That's even why sometimes you have the last rally. ETH may hit 2,200 and bounce. It may. Right. If it does, you're talking about a world ending crash when that rally stops based on some of the math that we're trying to do. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.